Hey everybody, what's up? On today's video, I'm gonna show you some five really amazing Webflow websites that I love at the moment. On the previous roundouts of web design, you've been asking in the comments, are these Webflow websites? Are these Webflow? Can you do this with Webflow? And so, no, they were not Webflow websites. They were just web designs that I liked. But for this episode, I've decided to show you that with Webflow, those websites can be just as beautiful, just as inspiring, just as smooth as the other website that I showed you. This video is not sponsored. It's just that I, I am passionate about Webflow because I love it. I build my own websites with Webflow. So I want to show you just how badass these websites are. Let's jump right into it. So this is the first uh, uh, website. This is a portfolio of Joe Moore. I help businesses stand out by creating visual identities and awesome websites. So Already we have this kind of a nice also hover effect and outline effect, which was actually pretty popular last week. Also, when you scroll, you get this tilt. So this is kind of actually reminds some of the effects that we've seen on last week's portfolio with the kind of the outline. There's really a lot of things going on here that I like, the interactions. Um, you have this kind of a thing where you can see where you are in terms of the scroll of the page so you know if you're in the beginning, right now we're probably somewhere along the, the middle. And there's a lot of kind of parallax effect, gives you a nice kind of scroll here. Um, I love this interaction of the button here, view project, and also the seamless, seamless transition between the pages. Um, I love the layout. I love the feeling of, you know, there's kind of a parallax this thing where the work is on the left scrolling but you see the image on the background changing side and perspective um, you can see who won some award for it so also this hover interaction so that's really really kind of a smooth thing um, and on top of that he added all kinds of jokes into the website like did we just become best friends and if you're saying, yep, then let's work together. And if nope, let's keep trying. And I like that. I feel like it's he used interactions here in a playful way um, that kind of helps, you know, uh, sell himself. So this is moving into a different project. So you can see really, really nice and smooth portfolio. Let's go here into the about section. So yeah, this is kind of a portfolio pretty similar to the ones that we saw last week, or at least in the same same standard. I know the words, I have the words, hard work. I, and I really like how he presented himself. Basically, my only, my only comment for this website would be that at, on the front page, it doesn't say his name. It doesn't say what website you're on. But other than that, Joe, really like your website. Super nice stuff. So second website is for a bicycle shop in Das Perfect Velo. I guess this is in German. When you scroll here, it's kind of like it's kind of like a movie. You see, scroll down, it moves forward, scroll backward. So this is, I find this similar to the kind of the Apple websites where, let me scroll back, scroll forward, where they created in the, I think AirPods Pro, they created kind of the movie experience when you're scrolling down. So you can see there was a lot of preparation going into this. They've actually created the video and then probably exported it into some kind of a loading animation. So you feel like you're watching the movie when you get into the website just before you're getting into the kind of more standardy way. Um, so I really like how they did the intro to this website, Star Bicycle. My only comment for this would be that for some reason they couldn't fix this. You can see, can you see this horizontal bar? There's like a tiny issue of a little bit of a scroll here, which is also so easy <laughs> to fix, but it's so annoying. Sometimes it happens. There's an element that is a little bit bigger than the body. Um, I would fix this because for me personally, this is annoying, but really great website. This shows that you really, when you do the preparation before you actually build the website, when you prepare the assets, when you think about the story, then it becomes really, really nice. And I think you can also see this with this website for Honda um, that basically tells the history of, I think, Honda racing. So this is this is really nice. This is a note. So this is kind of a timeline. So Mexico, Monaco, Hungary, and take a look at the effect here with the numbers. This page kind of reminds me of what Spotify does with the end of the year. So when you click on this, gives you kind of the video transition to the page. 
and then you get into a specific page with insights about that specific race. So again, this really, I don't know if it's the numbers or kind of the infographical look of this whole website, but it does remind me of this kind of a Spotify end of year where you know they're showing you all kinds of stats about stuff. But I think this is really, really well done website again also in terms of the interactions. And by the way, we're in the credits here and you can see how many people actually worked on this website. So creative director, art director, copywriters. This is how many people actually work on a website. And that's why a lot of you people are asking, how can you charge twenty, thirty thousand dollars for a website? Because a lot of times it takes a crew of talented people to build an amazing website. And if you're actually a full stack designer who can do most of these things yourself, then you're able to charge high prices and make big profit on the actual website yourself. Next website that I like is called The Pen Tool. And what I like here, basically is just because it's kind of a funky design. This is actually tools for designers. Um, and I really like, you know, these the, this kind of a text, the type, the typesetting with the variable font. I know some of you hate it and you think that's a bad trend. I just love it. I think it's it's really cool. Um, I like how they created. So this is, for example, I think these are Figma plugins. So better file thumbnail, the plugin that you never knew you needed. You scroll down, it turns out to be kind of a Figma screen and... I think it's really, really cool. So they show you here the Figma screen and as you scroll down, these uh, screens become the kind of the thumbnail. So I guess what this plugin does, is it replaces this thumbnails where you can really easily see which project it is, turns it into these nice colory um, thumbnails. So this is pretty cool and I like how they created here. I like that the design here is funky, it's bold, it's using tons of colors. Um, I really, really like this. I don't think there's anything complicated here in terms of development, but I think it's really well done. And uh, yeah, I just like the design aesthetics of this. And the last website that I want to show you, that's really cool. So this is from Matthew P. Munger. That's basically his, his portfolio website, and he built it to look like a Mac old Mac interface. So basically you click things here um, and you can actually use this as kind of an interface. So if you wanna do a new project that would actually open up the form to contact him, you can you know, see his whatever, his Webflow profile or his favorite, favorite apps. I don't know what that does. Client work opens up his, let's see, do I need to double click this? his recent project, you can see them here and you can actually see the published website. This would open it in a new website. So I think this is really cool. I mean, I'm not a fan of this design aesthetics, but I just feel like it's really cool that you can do this and you can do literally whatever you want, you know, with Webflow um, and you can be creative about this. So I really, really like what Matthew did here, just even as a proof of con concept. I like this, I think, you can even change kind of the color of the interface. So this is a really dynamic experience. Well done, Matthew. Matthew, I think this is really, really cool approach and unique approach and memorable to your own website and shows that you can literally do whatever you want. All right, so those were my five Webflow website favorites at the moment. If you have your favorite, let me know in the comment below. And of course, if you wanna up your Webflow skills, you can join us at the Webflow Masterclass and learn how to build your own amazing website just like this with Webflow super, super fast. Check the link below the video and I will see you on the next one.